Focus on the arts continues. There's an opening reception at a gallery in Palm Springs that's bringing some really unique pieces of abstract expressionism to the valley. An abstract expressionism show is coming to the desert. Maybe tell us a little bit more about it. It's Jason Howard, thank you for being here. Ah, you're welcome. Thanks for having us again. So tell me about uh, the exhibit that you guys are putting together. This is going to be very interesting. Yeah, it's uh, abstract expressionism kind of started in the United States in the early 40s. And the second wave of abstract expressionists really were in the 50s and into the 60s. And we've got five of those artists that we're showcasing in our group show. And we're looking at some of the work now. Uh, and you're really focusing, it's, it's fairly narrow, the time frame. It's a 15-year segment. So from 1950 to 1965, this is where these artists fall into the to category. Correct? Yeah, that, that period was a period of great uh, artistic exploration. Uh, and uh, we're showing Lynn Map Drexler, who we've shown before, uh, Malcolm Myers, who is a, a very famous American printmaker and painter, and a, a new artist uh, to our fold of representation, which is Norman Carton, who did, uh, besides painting, invented a lot of fabrics and 1950s fabrics on the East Coast. Tell people about the gallery in general, in case people don't know. Yeah, the gallery is located in the Uptown Design District in Palm Springs. We have about 25 contemporary artists and then five artist estates. So artists that are now deceased but were creating in the mid-century. Palm Springs is a unique place. Uh, people like modern things, but they also like the mid-century. Uh, and not just Palm Springs, the whole Coachella Valley, really. And so we find it a, a, a fascinating mix to be able to show and promote artists in both of those now, time frames. Now, in this abstract expressionism show, uh, is all of the artwork that's coming, is that available for sale or...? or it yes. Okay. Yep, all, all the artwork is available. And uh, as every gallerist would tell you, we wish we had, you know, five times the space and five times the walls <laughs> to show everything that we have, but uh, a very good repre representation of those five artists, and it's all available to view online as well. And next up is something called decor, and you were just telling me a little bit about this. This is a really kind of a fascinating period in art. Yeah, so uh, James Rick, who is a Joshua Tree artist, formerly New York and L.A., uh, is painting these hyper-realistic decor items from the 50s and 60s. So bedspreads, uh, ashtrays, and they're all done on a very large scale. And you said they're really massive pieces. Yeah, so. there's a there's a great piece that he's done. It's a it's a mustard gold bedspread quilted, you know, and it's like six feet by six feet. And the the realism and the the call out to the 50s is really going to be super fun. Very so. cool. And that's one of those contemporary artists where he's still doing, he's doing that work now. Absolutely, yep. He, he lives in Joshua Tree and uh, has his home and studio there. Very cool stuff. All right, once again, it is uh, the Abstract Expressionism Show at the, uh, at the gallery, and you can see it on the screen at Ruben Eric, uh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> It's a mouthful. <laughs> Rubine Red. Rubine Red, thank you. <laughs> Rubine Red so Gallery. So abstract expressionism. <laughs> and, uh, yes, you give me a lot of <laughs> mouthfuls of words today. <laughs> RubineRedGallery.com, and the exhibition runs from the 7th of this month through the 24th, and the opening reception is on the 15th, 5 to 8 p.m. Thank you very much for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely. We always enjoy it.